it is a good practice on board of the P vessel to keep the P log, the separate logbook uh, from the ship's logbook, uh, which uh, will describe only the progress of the P operations conducted at that certain vessel. And the uh, DP log describing times and dates of various DP operations. And then if you need, you can easily find out any operation conducted by your vessel without listing the ship's logbook. Also there we have reflection of diving or other operation requiring the DP. Other relevant activities depending on type of operations here may be reflected. IMCA M109 gives us details uh, and uh, recommendations about uh, this kind of document. And uh, DP log describing times and days of various DP operations such as for example vessel going into DP, diving or other operations requiring DP, times of diving bell leaving surface and reaching working depths, times of diving leaving entering diving uh, bell and reaching the living work site. Instructions that were received from a dive subsea operation control. Other relevant activities depending on type of operation. The P operators coming on or going off shift. Faults occurring in the P system. Times and details of connecting lines to installation. So, just once more, the P log is not just shows us the time on and off of your DP equipment. This the log which in details describes the progress all operations which happened with the vessel when the control has been transferred to DP until the end the control has stopped on DP. That's main idea of this document.